Hi everyone, welcome to YouTube Wikipedia. Do you know at least 50 people that too, mostly children, have died from fever in Uttar Pradesh in the past week? Yeah, for more than a week now, children in some districts in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh have been waking up with a high fever and drenched in sweat. Many of them complained of joint pains, headaches, dehydration and nausea. In some cases, they reported rashes spreading across legs and arms. At least 50 people, mostly children, have died of the fever and several hundred have been admitted to hospital in six districts in the eastern part of the state. None of the dead tested positive for COVID-19. At this time, when India appears to be slowly recovering from a deadly second wave of coronavirus, the deaths in Uttar Pradesh have provoked a rash of panicky headlines about a mystery fever sweeping through the countryside of India's most populous state. Physicians in few of the affected districts like Agra, Mathura, Manipuri and Firozabad believe dengue, a mosquito-borne viral infection could be the main cause of the deaths. They say many of the patients were taken to hospital with a declining platelet count, which characterizes a severe form of dengue. The patients, especially children in hospitals, are dying very quickly, says Dr. Neeta Kulshetra, the most senior health official of Firozabad district, where 40 people, including 32 children, have died in the past week. Transmitted by female mosquitoes, dengue is mainly a tropical disease and has been circulating in India for hundreds of years. It is endemic in more than 100 countries, but some 70% of the cases are reported from Asia. There are four dengue viruses and children are up to five times more likely to die during a second dengue infection than adults. Nearly 100 million severe cases of dengue, severe bleeding, impact organs are reported worldwide every year. The combined impact of COVID-19 and dengue epidemics can potentially result in devastating consequences for the population at risk, according to the World Health Organization. Yet, it is still not clear whether an epidemic of dengue is alone responsible for the fever-related deaths in Uttar Pradesh. A state with more than 200 million people and traditionally poor standards of sanitization, high levels of malnutrition in children and patchy health care routinely reports such mystery fever cases after monsoon rains every other year. Do subscribe for more information.